red yellow leather. No, no. red leather. Red leather yellow, yellow leather. leather. Unique. Unique New York. New York. Unique New York. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's, oh god <laughs> what's that from anchorman that, the screaming part too yeah oh, ah! <laughs> ah! scotchy scotch scotch down in my belly that's funny. i love that movie <laughs> love it <laughs> welcome to the ugly truth Producer dub episode, so you can fast forward now, <laughs> or you can s- buckle up. And- Listen, you can suck it up for fifteen <laughs> or twenty. What What do you think about our new format, our new speedy format? As an editor who has a day job, I like it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think it's great. I think this is kind of the trend, right? Like, yeah. not that you guys have to be on trend. I mean, you were podcasting long before a lot of other people were. So true. But I do think that. People have so many more options and, you know, I've shared my feelings that I thought if you can consistently keep it under 20, maybe there's a time where it's more than once a week, <laughs> but well, I don't know, that's been, my particular thing. So we have been trying to do a shorter show for a millennia. And so the secret to having a shorter show <laughs> is having me on the show, <laughs> which is unusual, by the way, because <laughs> usually I lengthen meetings, not shorten. them. I will say this. Having Stephanie in charge of the timer, Mm -hmm. she's a, I mean, I don't want to use this word because I know it's not appropriate in this day and age in this society, but she's a slave driver. (laughs) I thought you were going to say something else. What? Nazi. No. (laughs) Equally as bad. Sure, sure, sure. But she's, she's very, very passionately rigorous about pointing to the, we have 13 minutes. Like she's very serious. You give her a, res- a time You give huh? her a responsibility, and she's like, "I thought we were only doing fifteen minute shows." <laughs> like she's very like. What was funny too? We are uh, adhering to this new rule. What she say last <laughs> on the last episode at the end? She's like, "Was that long enough for you?" <laughs> We've had quite, not quite a few, because it's not like we have billions of people listening, but we've had a few people reach out and going, well, it's fine, but why is it so short? Yeah. But it's because we want more people to listen, and with the way our everybody's time is nowadays. We appreciate the loyalty. Little... I just think, a, I think people aren't listening to one or two long podcasts like they used to. No. They're listening to five or six shorter ones. If you're a podcast so. lover and you have your tried and true yep. collective. Yep. Whenever there's a change, it it does mess up your schedule because I do know that when I've listened to some of my favorite podcasts Mm -hmm. and they make adjustments, I'm like, well, now what am I supposed to do for the next 35 minutes or whatever, you know? I get it. And it also opens up and gives you opportunity to look at new ones, you know? For sure. Anyway, I like it personally because I feel like it, it... forces us to stay on task because we're very ADHD. And so it's hard, <laughs> although it's fun to listen to people, you know, do the hairpin turn conversations. Sure. This one actually really forces us to, if we're going to do that, it's, it better be real freaking fast. Yeah. But I like it and I'm glad you're on board with it. Yes, I'm glad you like it. The goal of course is to release two shows a week one day because they are so short. We'd love to do twice a week shows. Yeah. I, I mean, um, I, you're doing it now, but you're, you're adding the reality TV show a ones a little TV. bit, which, but, so which means three, we would, I, mean, oh, okay. I would love to so do. So this would be on top of that. Yes. Oh, okay. That's the ultimate goal. I mean, I think the only thing about the reality TV ones is you guys aren't as like the, they haven't been as good. Like you're picking yeah. them and they're not as entertaining. So it's hard to, right. you know, Golden Bachelor, The Bachelorette or whatever. Sure. Then, then uh, or Bachelor, sorry. And now Top Chef. Well, While Top Chef has been great. It's not as great I do, as it used to I be. do think that reality TV is different now. Sure. And we're not really into the spinoffs of you know, Vanderpump rules and stuff like that. But streaming channels have some really good reality shows that we need to get into. I think once we start digging into them, I think we'll actually really like them. Is Alone coming back? I don't know. Haven't heard a thing. Huh. Nothing. Heard nothing. Yeah, that will, that I can't imagine that show would be bad. (laughs) No, it's great. We love it. Yeah, it's awesome. But yeah, anyway, so you and I got to spend a couple hours in Napa (laughs) 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 and did some wine tasting, which was great. Amazing. Yeah, well, the weather's really good right now. I yeah. know there's some people who have some snow and it's chilly, but where we are, it's it was like freaking 90 today. It was, it was yeah. 
And Na- let me tell you, like 75 and I was 80 in Napa is great. If it's not the big, it, I'm sure that there are, there are a lot of people, but for women specifically, when the seasons change and you are not wardrobe prepared for it, mm-hmm. it freaking sucks. Like we're like going to, Oh, we got to go to the grocery store. I'm like, I have no shorts. I have no shorts. <laughs> I have like, I still have like a, 14 sweaters in my drawer that sure. I haven't put away yet. And I'm really getting, I'm getting anxiety. Cause I'm like, I, what if they don't fit? It's been well, a year since I've put shorts on, they fit. But I might, but the pop, the point is, is that now it's like, <sighs> I have nothing to wear. I literally have nothing I to know. wear. It's, you know, and it, I plus it. it's worse. It's worse here. And maybe others have this experience too, but we don't have four seasons in Sacramento. No, we, we have like Northern eight. California has like eight or nine seasons yeah. and, they, and they come and go. Like actually mm-hmm. some people are experiencing that now. I saw TikTok today where the woman said, you need to find this groundhog and cook that <laughs> motherfucker because it's April 5th, whatever. And it's snowing. Yeah. <laughs> so it's true. Yeah. But yeah, it, the weather um, messes with with wardrobe, and I I hate it because you either look like a total rat or you look completely ridiculous. Like it's eighty seven. Why are you wearing pants and a long sleeve? What are you doing? And I'm like, I'm dying. I'm hot. It's I have nothing to wear. Nothing. I need and I need new house shoes because apparently it's <laughs> it's too warm to wear my busted ass slippers that I've been walking around in. You gotta burn them. I do. They're done. They're disgusting. Is what they are. <laughs> They're stretched out. They're terrible. Every time I see him, I'm like, oh. I can't walk around with my bare feet all day. And I don't want to walk around in dress shoes when they can't even see my feet on camera. Yeah, you've been really annoying. <laughs> it's true. It's so true. I need some slides. I don't know what's going on. I mean, you, I can't get rid of you. I'm like, listen. you're everywhere. You're everywhere. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? You're like, and now, nothing. I'm like, you're like, what are you thinking about? I'm like, okay, you know what? It is really, really nice to have a present, in love, actively involved partner. But? <laughs> but I am not that person. I We were gone for, like, barely 24 hours. Like, we literally, we went. We had an amazing time. Yeah. And then came home this at, early this afternoon. Yeah. And you still couldn't get away I, from me. <laughs> I needed to decompress from you for like five minutes, but you weren't allowing it. Nope. I'm like, I have to go up. I have to change. He's like, would you like some help? I'm like, no. <laughs> Give me a minute to breathe, please. Fine. You didn't. Finally, I just took a shower. I'm like, maybe he'll leave me alone if I'm unavailable completely. I'll just shower and you can't get to me. <laughs> oh, challenge accepted. <laughs> I know. It's true. Yeah, I know. Sorry. We just had a really good time and I was hanging out with you. And then it gets busy and then, you know, I travel That's true. and stuff. Um, Although even some of the upcoming travel <laughs> I'm dragging you oh along my God. with me. I know. I'm going on I'm going on a trip with you. That's gonna be fun though. Undisclosed location, yeah. but still starts with a C, middle of the country. There you go. Give me there's, a C. There's only about ninety of those. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyway, so, well, I'm glad you're sitting on uh, the show. Yeah. Anything new and exciting to tell the audience no, about no. anything? Or? No, I, I, I am. Uh, I, I made it sound like we had an announcement. We don't. We I don't. Was just- <laughs> <laughs> I am interested in slightly conversing on the subject of baseball. Because you have been, over the last several days, because I am not glued to the screen or up on every single um, player and stat of my beloved San Francisco Giants, I feel like you're questioning my loyalty to said team. I'm not questioning your loyalty. I'm questioning your passion. Yeah. It's interesting because when I first, when we first were together, I, you were like everything, all things Giants. Yeah. And now it's kind of like waned, but you've been a fan for a really long, I mean, obviously since birth. Sure. So maybe this kind of thing comes and goes in waves. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm definitely not a, even close to what you would call a bandwagon fan. No, I've been a not Giants fan the whole time, no, and it's yeah, not it's like not I that. only like them when, you know. No. But there is kind of this transition when a season starts, and I've, and this is a little bit uh, baseball nerdy, but I've watched this division for so many years. Mm-hmm. They call it the Wild West for a reason. Yeah. So I looked today. I was like, Giants are up and down. Dodgers were running away with it. Rockies were in the tank. This was five days ago. Today, 
Everybody except the Rockies is within two games of each other. Even the Be- Dodgers? They lost seven of their last ten games. Oh, shit. So everybody's okay. like, Bruh. I was like, here, I even texted my, my buddy, Josh. I'm like, here we go again. Wild West. Everybody's going <laughs> to, we're going to yeah. just do this dance. And so to get overly invested in every game, all 162 games sure. to that point can be taxing. So I do well, like yeah. to check on how the players are doing. I think the new guys are doing great. And I, I said, for what it's worth, I said at the very beginning before the season even started, if we are in in the running at the halfway point, so the all-star break, if the Giants are in it, it's going to be legit because we get two very good pitchers back at mm. that point that we haven't had all. We just got another one on the injured list. Got it. Some guy that we picked up as a free agent. Has never pitched for us before because he went through surgery, so he's not even oh. going to be. So if we're close, it's going to be. And then, you know, not that I won't watch, not that, I, but I don't need to like listen to it. every game or anything. We're not you just there look yet. up and go. Oh, we're just not won. there yet, right? Yeah, it's like. So anyway, t- I have to ease my way into it in the season, but but I definitely do pay attention. So that's cool. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you weren't <laughs> questioning the the fandom at all. No, so. it's just weird to see you do this thing where you you seem half interested in something that i mean i've known you for a really long time yeah. and i've never seen you like oh yeah well they lost they l- won. listen when i was super into every single thing mm-hmm. it was a very different time it was even before the series championships you know when we won three and five but you know the like for example one of my favorite players is the third base coach for the giants now that's how yeah. old i am so it's been that's true you know what i mean so it's very different to know, but it's exciting to watch him play, and I love the I love the new manager. He's always been great. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. But I'm excited. But I just want to make sure, you know, that I just <laughs> threw it out there that I am still very much a Giants fan. Nobody's so. questioning your masculinity here, sir. Uh, I got you. Fine, I got you. <laughs> Something really did. Okay, first of all, um, I am not going to go into depth with this. Okay. However, I just want it to be known that I am obsessed. With Taylor Swift's new album. Oh, right. But we are not going to talk about it. How come? Because you want to save it for Stephanie? Yes. She actually (laughs) told me, she said, oh, um, you know, because we were going out of town and stuff, we didn't have an opportunity to record this weekend. And I said, well, I'll just have producer Dub do do an episode. Nobody's heard his voice in a minute. And we do have some male listeners who do like (laughs) to hear him. Ah, And and so, um, well, you know, I'll, I'll bring him on. She's like, oh, are you going to talk about Taylor Swift? <laughs> and I said, no, I'm not. We'll, we'll talk about Here, it. Here's what I'll tell you about Taylor Swift. Because we have a family Snapchat. Yes. I know way more about what's going on with Taylor Swift than I probably should. Yeah. And then, um, you know, because three daughters, you, me, I just, it's yeah. definitely all you, all the, for the, since the day the album came out, that's all anybody's been, been talking great. about. Um, in fact, you, uh, for whatever reason, Malia, our youngest, couldn't. Oh, that's right. She was going somewhere, so she did not listen to the album immediately, like everybody she else was, did. She was actively avoiding it because right. her and her best friend were Wanted going to, to make it a thing together. They were right. going to have an event right. at home in their home on their couch, right? Listening to the entire and watching album, the lyrics on watching the screen, the lyrics, or something. going yep. through what we, what we all wanted, to, what sure. we all did, sure. basically. And so she had to wait an extra like twelve hours. Well, I figured that she woke up in the morning <laughs> and immediately started listening to it. Well, mm. I was wrong. You were wrong so you were dropping so i'm TikTok sending her spoilers. all the tiktok spoilers and she's like mom i said i was i got it and i'm like i'm sorry i go it's like literally the next day haven't we so, all listened to it multiple times by now so i don't so i don't want to again i don't want to go too deep into it because i want to let you save the conversation for stephanie but the one contribution i made just prior is there was a there was a snapchat conversation going back and forth about current five favorite Taylor Swift albums. Right. And this was in anticipation of the new one coming out. Yes. And this is before they knew, spoiler alert, there would be two. A <laughs> right? double so album. A double yeah. album. So, um, and so me being dad jokey, I was like, my favorite five are Taylor's version, Taylor's version, Taylor's version. And I just did five Taylor's versions. And everybody's like, mwaha, dad joke. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yes. I was like, okay, that was my contribution. I'll just let this thing go. Just, yeah, this is this not is about, about me. <laughs> it isn't about me. It, no, I'm supportive. I'm supportive. And, and, <laughs> And the music's good. I, I will say something that um, you should definitely share with Stephanie, regardless, that I, I think was really interesting, is that she has become almost less of a singer and more of a poet. Oh, for sure. Which I found fascinatingly cool. Yeah. Right? 
Um, I and I think there, are, I think there are artists like that. You had mentioned Jewel. Mm -hmm. I think Ryan Adams has moments like that as well. He's yes. definitely a talented musician, but um, I, I'm constantly blown away by some of the lyrics that he's got. The lyrics so, is where it's at. Right. So mm -hmm. anyway, so I just, I thought that was really cool. Yeah. So it's definitely, <laughs> I'm definitely saving it. Yeah. Good. <laughs> okay. Listen, well, that's, that, that's it. the limit. That's yeah. the limit. No more than that. That's it. That's it. Stop. I say no more. Right. <laughs> I say no more. Um, the man punted Baxter. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I don't, I, I love that movie and I, I wish I had more one liners I could pull from it. Oh yeah. But I just cannot. So. Yeah, Anchorman's, anyway. a, Anchorman's a classic. All right. Well, with that being said, uh, Stephanie will be back. Yeah. Um, hopefully next week of all things, she's had a little bit of, um, health issues with her her child i don't know if she wants to talk about it so oh, right we'll see nothing serious but you yeah. know always <laughs> something right Boy injury yep for it's freaking sure. ridic i know I'm all good. right thanks for listening yeah. um and well, we, hopefully you did yeah they're probably like oh god baseball <laughs> no fake out should we talk about star wars <laughs> listen <laughs> Don't break the universe. You can't talk about Taylor Swift and Star Wars in the same show. Stop Why? it. Why? What's wrong with Stop that? it. <laughs> My only disappointment for this week is I did not get to go see Abigail, and I'm super bummed about it. Oh, Hopefully I get the... to go see it soon, or it'll come. If it, I don't even know what the reviews are yet. It came out on Friday. Marcus Allen liked it for what it's worth. He liked well, it a lot. But I will never not watch a vampire movie, no yeah. matter how terrible it is. Right. I've seen, I think, at literally any and all vampire movies. Yeah. And so I am looking forward to this one. Cool. It looks fun. And, you know, little girl ballerina vampire. I mean, how can you go I mean, wrong? Yep. Yeah. It's a good so, combo. Anyway. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for listening. Yeah. And we will be back with new shows next week. Bye.